like that. It's, uh, it's great to look forward to something at the end of the week. It's, 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 uh, the simple life is great, but that leaves a lot of the responsibility, you know, for, for people to take advantage of that. And uh, I think it's time to uh, let some cats out of the bag. Hollywood, they're going to do, uh, you know, a lot of different things to try to get the people's attention. Now, if everybody just releases what we know right off the bat, there's going to be a panic. You know, um, everybody says, well, I could handle it. They don't want to harm people's belief systems. They don't want to um, change the world overnight because that's exactly what it'll do. I mean, the implications are so vast, your imagination couldn't touch it. I, I believe that wholeheartedly because myself, whether you believe it or not, I didn't believe in this stuff. Yeah, that's fine. And it got smacked right into my face and it destroyed my life. Um, which is why I really need to reach out to you guys and let you know something very important. I, I absolutely believe that uh, it's been quite useful. Uh, there was a project called Project Mockingbird. Uh, this is where the CIA was able to infiltrate all six major news uh, networks. False news has become all too common on social media. More alarming, some media outlets publish the same things that are true without checking facts first. Unfortunately, some members of the media use their platforms to push their own personal bias and agenda to control exactly what people think, and this is extremely dangerous to our democracy. Now, what does that say to the people? Should we be worried? I think they're concerned. We are actually cheering, cheering over wars that happen today. When I look at my country, I don't see the United States. It's more of a divided states of America. There are a lot of experiencers out there just like me. Shout out to you guys. There's millions. Let me tell you, if you don't know personally, I'm telling you right now, there are millions of us that have uh, dealt with this kind of thing. Betty Marsden, I mean, uh, Kathleen Mar Martin, Martin. Uh, it is about the Barney and Betty Hill case. Uh, you know Barney and Betty Hill. They were driving down from New Hampshire, and they got taken up in a ship and abducted and uh, tested, and uh, it basically kind of ruined their lives. Um, they didn't want this kind of publicity, uh, and in the end, uh, it, it caused Mar Barney's premature. When I get calls from places like CNN or um, major networks or Hollywood or anything like that, the first thing I think of is no. Absolutely not. I'm not a tool for anyone. And I've turned down a lot of shows. I've turned down a lot of things because as soon as you're in the, the clutches of some of these things, they want to they put their narrative over the top of yours. And that, that kind of takes my truth and it turns it into their lives. And I'm not about that. I need to lead as a father, lead as a citizen. I have to be some kind of an example. It's not about money. It's not about fame. Now, the television shows and the things I'll be doing in the future, these are already established that they are not going to put a narrative on me. I'm going to tell what I have to say, and nobody's going to get in the way of that. What do you think about this from Natty Blue? She says, it's not aliens, it's demons, devils, who are the fallen angels and their offsprings. we got two, 248 and 41 likes here. Well, I think that uh, we should really go with the uh, professionals when it comes to um, whether these are demons, angels. Um, I, you know, that's, that's always been in the back of my mind. What they are saying is they, they absolutely know that these are extraterrestrial. That means... And, you know, I hate the word. I, I hate the word uh, extraterrestrial. Where are they from? I don't know. Are they human? Hell no. They are not. They're nothing like us. Why would demons have technology? Why would angels need uh, technology? Um, you know, they've done the big questions. They've looked at it. And let me tell you, there are patriots among these people. I have to implore that. They're not all bad. They are fighting each other right now about this information. Some don't want it out. Imagine our government, all the organizations that we have, and they all go along any sinister plan they want. Well, heck. That would be great. You know, it'd be great for them, terrible for us. And guess what, guys? It's been terrible for us for a long time. There is a movement on the inside within the Central Intelligence Agency where there are good patriots. Interesting topic you just said. Uh, did you see that they built, I think, Lockheed Martin and another company built 
a fence, a space fence, like a space wall uh, around Earth. Did you see that? Yeah, yeah, I haven't, I haven't uh, dug into it very much, so I don't know a whole lot about it, but I, I will learn. Well, it's likely your um, experiencers are very timid when it comes to talking about what happened to them. They don't want to be called crazy, but they're human beings. In the feed below, I would like for everyone to pitch in, have my back a little donation very much. It was not all over the news. You can dig this up, you can find it out personally. So why don't they land on the White House lawn? Well, let me start that with a question. Uh, a very, very valid question. And please, no semantics. Try to follow me the best you can because I want you to be informed. I'm not here, uh, you know, wanting to waste my time. I'm here to help you. Have you ever tried to help out a drug addict? You know, take them in, put them on your couch, ask them to get a job day after day, noticing that you're fixing more, more of their problems than uh, they're working on their own problems. But we are addicts. We are all addicted to the wrong things, okay? Uh, the wrong lifestyle, the wrong way of seeing things. We need to learn how to help each other. Stop and feed a homeless person. Officer, you don't mind, right? Y'all can use a good publicity. Put it on Facebook, man. I got you. I'm put it on Facebook. It doesn't matter if they're going to get drugs. It matters what you do, not what they do. We need to be a better person, and we need to be a better place. And it starts with the people. Don't rely on your government to do things for you. Um, because if you do, they're going to take advantage of you. Thank you, Eric. Uh, this is uh, coming from a person uh, nicknamed Are Ar they talking about the Sun Simulator? I'm not well informed enough to uh, to comment. You know, uh, that's one thing. That's one thing uh, I want people to really understand about me as a person. I um, I have three words that I like to use often. I don't know, and um, that is something that I'm going to tell you. If I don't know, I'm not going to formulate or fill in a blank or or try to uh, let you know that I'm, I'm knowledgeable about everything. I'm not. I'm not. Nice. Thank you. Uh, coming from Pierce Fennell. This is a subscriber we have for. For a long time now he's thinking he's well this is clever thinking like you said critical thinking right uh he's saying right. that the technology that is coming for us will enslave us all of us have a, a vision a dream a download um some kind of inclination where they're able to witness this uh vision of the end of the world where there's bombs everywhere and after after you start after you experience it yourself and you start to uh, take phone calls and, and these people. So I had a vision. It was uh, the end of the world. I mean, that is like the number one thing you hear from people that experience UFOs. Um, I would like to warn people about technology. Really, really neat. They're coming at us really fast. And we're just so excited to go to the next one and get the next one. Uh, put in overtime at work and, and, and miss our TV time uh, just to get the newest phone or the newest computer. Or my gosh, uh, um, you know, maybe a refrigerator that can talk to the Internet for you. All right. I just got done with my surgery. First ever YouTuber with a vlog camera in my arm. Hey, yo, what up, gang? Get on that level, cuz. Nestle, first ever rapper with auto-tune in his arm. Yeah. Woo! -hoo. Yo, we out here, cuz. Look at that. What up, gang? Uh, but I do, do warn you about the implications of these things. You know, think about the future where every... Uh, a very, very valid question. And please, no semantics. Try to follow me the best you can, because I want you to be informed. I'm not here, uh, you know, wanting to waste my time. I'm here to help you. Have you ever tried to help out a drug addict? You know, take them in, put them on your couch, ask them to get a job day after day, noticing that you're fixing more pro more of their problems than uh, they're working on their own problems. But we are addicts. We are all addicted to the wrong things, okay? Uh, the wrong lifestyle, the wrong way of seeing things. We need to learn how to help each other. Stop and feed a homeless person. Officer, you don't mind, right? Y'all can use a good publicity. Put it on Facebook, man. I got you. I'm put it on Facebook. It doesn't matter if they're going to get drugs. It matters what you do, not what they do. We need to be a better person, and we need to be a better place. And it starts with the people. Don't rely on your government to do to warn you about the implications of these things. You know, think about the future wherever, everywhere you go. This is this is going to be everywhere, and someone's going to control it, and it's not going to be us. It's brought up, and um, there are whistleblowers coming forward. They were talking to uh, an investigative, a female investigative reporter uh, here in America. You can, you won't have to look hard, and you'll find out who she is. Um, after that, look into what she's getting from the whistleblowers that came from there, that have worked down there. These are the guys to ask um, because um, I'm not highly involved. I, I don't know, have, a, have a, lot, a lot of information, but I know something's been going on down there for a very long time. Uh, this is not just a big thing of ice. Uh, you know, there, there's a lot going on down, down there. Uh, from Mike Schoolcraft, he's asking no footage of anything. Yeah, in, in my investigation, um, to my knowledge, I know there's more, but I can definitely say there's over 171 pictures. Uh, I can say there's at least 39 videos. I can say that there is a late 1940s, early 1950s CIA 
tracking devices that were found in my vehicle and at my desk at home. Um, uh, there's there's quite a bit of stuff uh, there is, you know, and uh, um, the pictures were analyzed, the videos were analyzed down to the one millionth of a pixel or one hundred thousandth. I'm not sure what it is, um, but you know, I just got to leave that to the professionals. Have them take a look, you know, make sure it's not photoshopped, um, make sure it's the original picture. That way, the device that took these pictures will have the date, the time, time, everything like that, so they can narrow it down scientifically and tell you with their signature saying this is this is a real photo this is a real video um it's not one of those cases where i'm just going to show you some photos and, and hope to god you believe me from justin christensen that's uh he's asking for example if anybody else oh. around you when this happened recorded the incident were there any witnesses hmm. that's a that's a good question there were 20 apartments on my side of the street and three trailers on the other side they were occupied they had families in them Everybody in my neighborhood, we'd barbecue, we'd have birthday parties. Yes, they saw this object, they saw it repeatedly. It's a small town, people started talking. Vehicles would show up at night from all over this town and other towns as well. Uh, this object scared a lot of people. It was not an object in the sky. It was something that came down in the yard uh, many, many times in front of whoever showed up, it didn't matter. Um, Black Hawk helicopters were sent out there because they were picking up radar returns. Uh, so the military knew about it. You know, the Pentagon knew about it. Uh, I moved you know, well over a thousand miles away to get my daughter into college. The first night we were there, there was a massive sighting. Uh, this thing came right over the trees and hovered right in front of us on a third story porch. Uh, I've got a great picture there and I can't wait to show you. Um, I moved out to Las Vegas, spent a little time with my girlfriend. Uh, there, there were people that knew about me and they followed the subject and they would sit on top of the hill and take pictures of my house. They would watch these objects come down. They would take pictures of them. And they would also take pictures of the uh, helicopters following these things away. So are there witnesses? Yes. Yeah. Three trailers on the other side. They were occupied. They had families in them. Everybody in my neighborhood, we'd barbecue, we'd have birthday parties. Yes, they saw this object, they saw it repeatedly. It's a small town. People started talking. Vehicles would show up at night from all over this town and other towns as well. Uh, this object scared a lot of people. It was not an object in the sky. It was something that came down in the yard um, many, many times in front of whoever showed up. It didn't matter. Um, Black Hawk helicopters were sent out there because they were picking up radar returns. Uh, so the military knew about it. You know, the Pentagon knew about it. Uh, I moved, you know, well over a thousand miles away to get my daughter into college. The first night we were there, there was a massive sighting. Uh, this thing came right over the trees and hovered right in front of us on a third story porch. I've uh, got a great picture there and I can't wait to show you. Um, I moved out to Las Vegas, spent a little time with my girlfriend. Uh, there, there were people that knew about me and they followed the subject and they would sit on top of the hill and take pictures of my house. They would watch these objects come down. They would take pictures of them. And they would also take pictures of the uh, helicopters following these things away. So are there witnesses? Yes. Yeah, there's quite a few. There's quite a few. Now, are they all going to come forward? Well, <laughs> no. No, they have lives. They want to be, they don't want to be ridiculed. But yeah, there are people that came forward. They came on camera atmosphere, uh, during a volcano eruption would actually um, help our atmosphere. The, the holes that we have in the atmosphere and the problems that we have in our ionosphere and all these things. Um, he decided that this, this, uh, this salt we can mine from the ocean, throw it up into the sky and, uh, and help things along with uh, green house gases and um, global warming and things of the now guys don't nail me down to my belief system about any of these things I'm just trying to give you facts that's all um, but he um, he got with the military about it uh, they worked together on it and um, I don't think his plan went through very well I think uh, I think uh, I think it went south really fast for this man this genius of a man that wanted to fix a, a problem and uh, it turned into something uh, uh, a lot more sinister I asked her though I, you know I, I didn't want to sell nothing but I said, you know, sweetie, just put your ear to my forehead and tell me if you can hear something. And she did. And I was like, she's not going to hear this, you know. And she pulled her head back and she went, that's not your heartbeat. What is that? So, you know, then naturally the next day, you know, she comes home with a stethoscope, uh, gets a clearer sound. And, and of course, she wants to see if I can vibrate because she felt the vibration, you know, coming not from ear muscles, guys, from my forehead. Um, so uh, she was really intrigued, you know, uh, to be a college student, to. Um, you know, this isn't a trick. What is this? You know, so I had to uh, I had to put up with the little experiments that she wanted to do uh, to, uh, uh, you know, but uh, yeah, I, I'm curious too. I'm still curious to this day. You know, taken through the ear. Tinnitus or tinnitus is not supposed to be audible. You're not supposed to be able to hear it. Now, the person that has it, they experience ringing in the ears all the time. This is an electrical impulse in the brain that actually perceives sound. It's not really sound, but you're actually experiencing sound. Um, we've eliminated all the obvious critiques, you know, and they, what do the people at home feel like about me surrendering myself to these people in the CIA, knocking on their door saying, I know you heard about me, will you scan my brain? And the minute that I do that, I'm going to be a traitor. But at the same time, I want to know the truth. So, you know, it's a catch-22 no matter what I do. You know, it, it, people are going to throw stones, but you know what? I've got a pair of shoes. 
try walking in them for one day. But the most important thing I have to say to experiencers, um, and this is have been in your soul, these two words have been in driving you over and over and over for a long time. And I want to use those two words for you today. It's time. I know you're out there. I can feel you now. I know that you're afraid. You're afraid of us. You're afraid of change. I don't know the future. I didn't come here to tell you how this is going to end. I came here to tell you how it's going to begin. Explain the unexplained.